Welcome to FOH. This week everything's changed. I've got a new chair. Ken's got a table. He's got a haircut. I've had a haircut <laughs> since last year. <laughs> it's all great. Welcome well, to 2016. Most of, most of my Christmas presents may as well have been given straight to you. A new chair, <laughs> glasses, new Bruce. It's all for you. Is that new Bruce? Well, it's, it's a new version of uh, old Bruce. Excellent. Well, 15 CDs. You can't the 78 have, tour. 15 CDs. You can't have everything you want. But I'm happy with a new chair. You only table. got it the first time you break a plant or drop a glass. It's gone. You're back to plastic. Love Christmas. Great. And today, to kick off the year, again, thanks to Bill DeLisi for actually providing these. Thank well you, done, Bill. Uh, Partagas Series D number ones from 2004. Limited yeah. editions. I think these are July 2004, but they're coding me up there on the video. I haven't had one of these for years now. But no. this is a really good, a really good chance to see a couple of things. One is, how have the limited editions evolved? 11 years of age? Mm -hmm. Yeah, over 11 years 12. of age. 12 years of age. 16. Yeah, 12. Coming up to 12 years of age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how do they evolve? Because I think one of the biggest criticisms I have about the LE program, and that's some of you, is that they lose their intensity, they lose their direction. Not all, but a lot of them do. So let's see exactly where this one stands. Well, in fairness, really all you can do is say how this one's evolved. Yeah, we've tasted enough of them. that have got some age on them. I mean, eventually you have to run a line through them. In which, in, well, but as you say, some do, some don't. Yeah, yeah, but more do than don't. Do what? They start... Do evolve or don't evolve? They evolve. Okay. To a, but I suppose everything evolves. But they evolve, they lose their intensity, and they become a shadow of the cigar they once were, if that makes sense. I sort of know what you mean. But some of them. They're just pretending not to. No. Seriously, you can get it out beautiful of your nose. Yeah. What's this beautiful rope? Absolutely. That? God, that's stunning. That's Christmas cake. Mine's more leathery. More leathery? Much more sort of old football, uh, gym bag. Gym bag? Footballs? Talk about football. Just do not. <laughs> skins were on this morning. That was bad luck. That was bad luck. Well done, all Skins fans. Luck. You did a lot better this year than you thought you were going it's to do. It's not the point. We're hey? still lost. Next year, big year for the Skins. Oh, God. Good up just, and coming coach. We just find out that... Good up and coming coach. Yeah, we, we, Cousins. Were just, we just happened to get to the top of the worst pool. In the RG3 car, to the Cowboys, no doubt. Dead to me if he goes to the Cowboys. Dead to him. Dead to me. Don't do it, RG. Anywhere else. You can even think about going to the Eagles, but not the Cowboys. Jesus. We'll back to you once we get into the cigar. Looking forward to it. Absolutely dead to me if he does that. First, though, Kenny, and I'd just like to apologise for all those who said that, or for me who actually made the comment that. Bellies lose their intensity. This is not one of them. No. <laughs> this is stunning. What a stunning little cigar. Well, I reckon 04 might just have been the best Ellie year of all time. Why do you say that? The uh, Cohiba, uh, uh, which was which was the key, is Cohiba Sublimes. Mm -hmm. uh, these. What was it? Was it Hoya? What were the other Hoya ones? Hoya Pyramids of 2003. Yeah, now what was the other um, 04s? I've got, 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 got some in there. Don't right? expect me to do my research before I turn up. No, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do some research by walking in five oh, yards that way. This is, this is, this is seriously. Bill DeLacy, thank you so much. Mm. How rich is that? Mm. Absolute, incredible intensity. Go through the flavours. Well, you, I see some of that fruitcake you're talking Christmas about. Christmas cake, yeah, fruitcake. Yeah, I see yeah. some of that. Not as much as you get in the really young ones. No, no. Um, but it's still there. But it's also got, on top of that, it's now got that leathery complex um, spice, a touch of cinnamon, that sort of character. Some nice elements of, of, of dark chocolate in there is, too. Is that, yeah? You know? Absolutely. First dirt, and it's a 98 point cigar for me. This is just a it's seriously right, bloody good cigar. Uh, and I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. This first cigar I've had since New Year's Eve, um, which was the Grand, Grand Edmundo Limited edition 08 or 10? Grand Edmundo LE 
double in Monday? Or yeah. grand in Monday? Big, oh, grand in Monday. Yeah, yeah t- t- ten, wasn't it? I think it was ten, yeah. And it was spectacular. It was such a good cigar. God, this is depth. And this, this is medium full. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is medium full body. This hasn't sort of shrunk off to <coughs> some little you know, shadow itself. Guys, if you've got some of these in your humidor, please mm. jump in and try one now. Because this is... Or send them to us. Because <laughs> we're happy to review any that you send. Bloody hell, what a pearl. Oh, yeah. What a pearl. Mm. All right, we'll be back to you at the end of the second. So. Made it a marginally better day. Uh, yeah. How good is this? I, I, honestly, um, I can't believe I actually hit a cigar this good to begin the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Epicure Especials was the other 04. Uh, you know, I haven't had one of those for five years. Oh, well, I've been having them slowly. I've got about a dozen left. How so they travel? Absolutely brilliant. Uh, a bit of variation from cigar to cigar, but generally I, I, they'd be sitting 95, 96 as an average for me. It's amazing that except you've, got, you've got your LE series, which started at, say, 2000. And I thought the initial four or five years were really, really good. Yeah. Like, really, really good. Yeah. And... Compare that to the last five years. A bit more hit and miss. But yeah. see, they didn't have to compete with the regional releases in the early days. And I wonder how much of the good tobacco gets siphoned off. Um, because, I mean, there's a limited, a limited quantity of great tobacco. Yeah. Um, are they producing the same Well, especially quantity? these days, because they've had back-to-back, um, not crop failures, but wrapper shortages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, they're down on... They're down on what they can produce. Do you have any idea of the quantity of LEs? Are they the same as when they started? Did no, um, well, actually, no, I don't have the specifics. See? Uh, but I understand they are down in, in quantities. And you can actually see that from a retailer's perspective in that they're, they're actually selling out within the year. Mm-hmm. Whereas, let's, let's take the Upman Magnum 48, which was around for five years. Yeah. Today you won't get a special, uh, you won't get uh, a limited edition release, which is around for five years. No. but even even the uh, Gahiba DCs and Sublimes, you could get those for a good eighteen months to two years. Yeah, when they came out. Um, say Gahiba Robusto Supremos, which is last year. Yeah. They, you, you, it will be some retailers in the world which still have them, but they're no longer available. Well, they, the from, original from a from a. From a distributor supply. Our first trip to Cuba was 03, yeah. and I was buying 2,000 LEs yeah. in 2003, and it wasn't any problem at all. No. Um, they were still hey, around. To be honest, I, mean, I don't mind the fact that um, they sell out in LE. Oh, no, year, not at all. Yeah? That's the idea. Well, let, let's face it, I mean, we st- they, had the, they launched last year the Monte Cristo 80th anniversary, which no one's seen yet. Uh, and of course, the Havanos Festival is when? Uh, six weeks time, yeah, six weeks time, and they're looking at end of first quarter for the release. So they're a year late, well, nine months late. Let's say nine months late. For that. I've always, I mean, they they kicked off with this program in two thousand with a what it was three or four different releases, um, and they had them again in two thousand and one, but they had none in 02. Now I've always thought, well, I can get no one over there to confirm it, that. They just put their toe in the in the water with those first couple and had no idea whether they'd be successful or not because they were cheaper than your normal cigars in those days. Oi, the Montreux pyramids were 130 CEC a box. Oh no, 130 US dollars a box. Yep, uh, yeah. uh, I've still got stickers on on boxes. Yeah, 130. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, 130. Now, if they were to release, that's 25. That's not 10. That's 25. <coughs> 25. So if they released it today, it would be 400 CEC a box. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And, and, and those days, and that's why it was such great, even the things like uh, the Kahiba, by the time they hit the Kahiba DCs and stuff, they were starting to... Ramp up. Yeah, and fair enough too. Um, and I can still remember talking to Jose at the time, and, and he was saying uh, um, he thought that the DCs were the best cigars he'd seen in 10 years, and then when the Sublimes came along, he thought, well, again, you know, you've got something at least as good. Mm. Um, so well, you're getting some, that quality. There's been some pearlers coming oh. through the system. Mm. There's been some average cigars. What impresses? What he sees. <laughs> what he sees. What impresses me about this cigar is just the intensity. And the greatest fear I had about the cigar was the 
that it was, would have lost its intent. You know what? It hasn't just lost its. It's increased. It's actually increased, and, and it's increased throughout the cigar, which is just but perfect blend. And there's no there's no hint of it getting hot or uncomfortable or elbows and, and knees and crap. Which, which yeah, beautifully balanced. If we had to tease flavours out of this, you'd ask, well, which flavour do you tease? I mean, there is just a myriad of flavours. Yeah. Can't fault it. And, and construction's been, mine at least, has been immaculate. Well, mine had a little crack through it, and that's my fault. Um, but it hasn't stopped the integrity of the cigar at all. Perfect. It's really dense smoke. It's just but velvety and just, it's terrific. Absolute. We'll finish it off in a few minutes, but uh, come back to you then. Yeah. What a good start. Well, <laughs> haven't the bar been set high for you this year? Thank God for Bill. <laughs> We aren't getting in the door unless you match this. <laughs> Money opens next week. Here we go. Last, go down to the nub. I'm down to the nub. Are we on? We are on. We are on. We are on. Yeah, well, wrap it up for me, Ken. Uh, um, terrific cigar. It's still, it's still just a joy. Um, you just wish it was yeah, starting, starting again. Honestly, uh, complexity, depth of flavour, this is intensity. This for me. Don't you know? Yep. And I'm not sure why it's not 100. But if every cigar was like this, well, I <laughs> just... The last three cigars I've had have all been 98, 99. So, so which ones were they? The, the, again? the uh, limited edition 2010 Monte Cristo. Yeah. Um, the Grand Dead Mundo. Yeah. And one of the Monsdales. Uh, and that was, uh, uh, I had a couple that were good, and I just, for whatever reason, just before um, Christmas, well, around about Christmas, just after Christmas, and I just pulled one out to sat down with a movie. And one of those cigars, you take the first puff and you go, oh, wacko, from the very first puff. A bit like this one. Um, but, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, guys, if you can track them down, good luck. Uh, if you've got them, smoke them. Really, they can't get any better than this, can they? Really? But not point to go. If, if you've got a box, certainly start smoking them because they are spectacular. But I'd still love to see one in five or ten. Um, Look at the legs. Yeah, there's no reason why this won't. Uh, mind you, we've said that before with limited editions and they've have tipped over. Yeah, but this has got 11 years on it, 12 years on it. So, Already, so, yeah, so yeah. it's. And it's still got the intensity there and the depth of flavours are just remarkable. It'd be an interesting post. What year produced the best LEDs? Post it up. Yeah, yeah. I must try and Post remember. Post it up that. today. Oh, if I remember. Um, uh, we can't do cigars this good every week. But we'd better. No, uh, we can't do cigars this good every week. But uh, again, thank you, Bill. These are fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. What a great way to start the 2016 year. Yeah, it's all downhill. <laughs> I've been told that before. Until next week. Look forward what to are we doing next up. week? I've got no idea. Actually, while we're on this um, older LE, I've got some um, 2000 improvements, particles. I finished mine, I may have one left, but I think I finished them all in the last year. Um, yeah, we've got a few others, we've got some uh, Age Lucy's, etc. there. Age Lucy's, absolutely. So um, you like that? And the other thing, uh, Money opens. I can bring out the uh, Hoya Epicure 04s. Perfect. And um, provided you haven't looted my storage, uh, I don't lose anyone's storage. Okay. Um, well, I should, I've still got a box of uh, uh, of the um, Sublimes. Oh, could be a good year, folks. Could be a very good year. Thanks for joining us. They might stay in the box for a bit longer. We'll see you shortly. See you next week, hopefully. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye. That was a terrific cigar. End of the second. So. Made it a marginally better day. Skins are win next year. Oh, well, oh, clearly, no doubt about that. You still got Arsenal, kid. They'll find a way. Cock it up. Back to you shortly. Second, third. <laughs> Sorry, Ken and I just had an argument about something. I was told they had to say something interesting. Wouldn't that be a nice change for people or friends of the Really? You're a writer. There, there are times. You're, you're a connoisseur. Honestly, there are times when I feel like I want a set of deliverance with you. <laughs> <laughs> but a dang 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 dang